it's Laura from Six Figure Writing Secrets, and I wanted to talk about how to take your virtual assistant business to the next level by giving a whole lot of value to your virtual assistant clients. The more aware you are of how to take your business and their business to the next level, the easier it's going to be for you to succeed, even if you're a relatively new virtual assistant with not a lot of experience. There are good VAs out there and there are great VAs out there. And the difference between good and great can be a lot in terms of your earning potential. One of the first things you can do to be a standout rock star virtual assistant is go above and beyond what they ask for. So take it one step beyond what they requested from you by thinking about the long run for their business. For example, if they asked you to do some research about the best screen capture software to help them make videos, perhaps you'd go do the research, put together a spreadsheet, and then suggest some coupons that would help them with one of the programs that you have ultimately suggested. Or perhaps you have a particular software program that you think would be most suited to their needs after conducting this research. That's one way to go above and beyond. Do the research on each project. Never skip corners because it might be tempting to do this, but the more that you know about each particular project that you work on, the easier it will be for you to build a long-term relationship with that potential client. So if you need more information, don't be afraid to ask for it, but make sure you put in the work to actually do the research. This should go without saying, but it's very important. Deliver what you say you will. Don't make promises that you can't keep with your client. Even if circumstances come up that aren't necessarily your fault, you need to deliver what you say you will. Clients are understanding that emergencies happen and that life happens, but if you aren't communicating that to your clients, then they have no reason to understand where you're coming from and understand the situation at play. So deliver what you say you will. If what they're asking for is unreasonable, you need to let them know that. Next, complete project goals with their business in mind, not yours. So you might be tempted to complete the project as quickly as possible so that you can move on to the next thing for another client or so that you can move on to the other task. But when you complete project goals with their business in mind as opposed to what your goal might be, it shows the client that you're serious about working with them over the long run. Bear in mind that it's not about completing every project as quickly as possible. If you cut corners or speed through something in an attempt to try to meet a deadline that wasn't reasonable to request, the client is going to sense this and might not realize that the breakdown was on their end. So it's not really about completing the project as quickly as possible. It's about providing value to your client. And if they're giving you instructions that are unclear or expectations that are unreasonable, you need to communicate that. Your client wants things done well, but you may also have to push back and request more information if necessary. Always be one step ahead of your client. So are there particular challenges that your client might face once you've passed this project back on to them? Try to make it as easy as possible for them to implement your advice or the research you've done or to make sense of the tasks that you have completed. When you're one step ahead of your client, your client sees you as a long-term value add to their business. It's much harder to end a relationship with a virtual assistant when they have proven so beneficial by being one step ahead of you the whole time. When mistakes happen, and they will on your client's part and on your part, just admit it. Nobody is perfect. Miscommunication happens. Poor directions happen. Life happens. And being able to say that you've made a mistake but that you want to move on from it is really beneficial. So when you make a mistake, Talk not just about how sorry you are and how you wish it wouldn't have happened, but suggest whether there are any steps or protocols you can impact that you can use in the future. So if you have a better way of doing things or if the instructions weren't clear or perhaps you need a project management software to keep track of things because now they're assigning you so many tasks, admit when you've made a mistake, but suggest a solution. And this goes hand in hand with being one step ahead of your client. So acknowledging that there's a problem and then suggesting how to fix it can go a long way towards a beneficial relationship. Over the course of time, you may ultimately have to miss a deadline. If this occurs, just let your client know. Many clients are going to be flexible so long as it wasn't something urgent. But if you don't tell them that there's been a problem, they just think that you've dropped the ball. So communicate if you're going to miss a deadline. If you do it repeatedly, that's going to be an indication to your client that perhaps you can't handle the workload or it's not the right fit for you. But 
this happening every once in a while is perfectly normal. Just let your client know about it. It's much better from a client perspective to receive a notification that someone is a little bit behind as opposed to not hearing from them at all and the virtual assistant has disappeared and I don't know why the project is not finished. There will be mistakes that you will make, so own up to what you can do better. And this is a two-way street. Sometimes your clients can do things better. They might not be as receptive to change, but if you are willing to go that first step and show that you're willing to do a better job in the future and here are the solutions that you suggest in order to make that happen, your client is much more likely to be open-minded about working with you continuously. So own up to where you could do better. If a ball was dropped and it was your fault, own up to it, come up with a solution, and then try to come up with structures and processes in the future so that it doesn't happen again. The majority of communication breakdowns between virtual assistants and their clients have to do with instructions. Time and time again, I see instructions that were poorly given that don't make sense to the virtual assistant and they're afraid to ask for more details so they go and complete a project and it's not completed as well as it could have been done. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If the client has given you poor instructions or if you need an additional piece of software or more research time to complete something, go back to the client and explain this to them. It is much easier to ask for help than to turn in a project after the deadline when it's not what the client was looking for. If a client gives you a project that, you know, it could be the instructions that are a problem, but the project just seems impossible or difficult or they're not giving you everything you need to make it happen, tell the client that up front. Don't wait too long to let the client know that there's going to be a significant problem with you completing this particular project. Letting them know sooner rather than later gives your client the opportunity to come up with workarounds. Don't be hesitant about sharing these concerns with your client. They may not be familiar with working with a virtual assistant and may need a little bit of a push in the right direction to help the relationship be as successful as possible. Don't be worried about them thinking less of you for doing this. If they do, then it might not be the client for you anyways. But you have to be comfortable in a business relationship like this with sharing your concerns when something doesn't work. Another reason for doing this is that your client has to know limits. Sometimes a virtual assistant client will continue to give tasks to a VA without realizing that the VA has become overloaded. If you don't have that open line of communication, the client will never know that they've given you too much or that they've given you a project outside of your wheelhouse. So keeping this open channel of communication and saying when you don't have enough instructions or when the project seems too difficult for you to complete, it's going to minimize the amount of breakdowns you have in terms of communication and project delivery. You have to be open with your client and build this relationship of trust. They also need to know when they've pushed you too far because many clients don't do that intentionally. Success is all about consistency. So having this open ability to communicate with your clients, being aware of when you've made a mistake, suggesting future protocols for minimizing mistakes, and staying on top of doing what you say you will is critical for success as a new virtual assistant. I wish you all the best luck as a new VA.